Interesting facts about Django Unchained, part one. Quentin Tarantino originally planned on having Will Smith play Django. However, due to creative differences in regards to the story, he refused. Originally, Christoph Waltz also refused to do his role as Dr. Schultz because he felt it was too clearly written for him as an actor. Fortunately, after some convincing and agreements over his character, he took on the role. He ended up winning an Oscar for Best Supporting Character. This was his second Academy nomination and his second win, his only other Oscar being from Inglorious Bastards, which was also written and directed by Tarantino. After some consideration, Jamie Foxx was given the role of Django. This turned out to be a great choice since he already knew how to ride and handle a horse. He was even allowed to ride his personal horse, Cheetah, throughout the movie. Cheetah was a gift Jamie received for his birthday four years prior. During the Mandingo fighting scene, a man meets Django at the bar, questioning if he can spell his own name. This is actually a reference to the 1966 spaghetti western titled Django. Francis Nero returns for a cameo as Django tying the universes together. At the very end of the movie, we see one of the most badass and iconic shots of Jamie Foxx. If you look at what he is wearing, he actually changed into Calvin Candy's purple suit and took his pipe.